what is going on everybody welcome back to the show make sure to like comment share subscribe follow that twitter right down below today what we're going to be talking about is the three things you should not do when losing weight now a lot of you guys might look at me and you might be like um dude how how do you know anything about losing weight like what um i wasn't always skinny i actually lost like 100 pounds um this is an old photo of me (laughs) i'm sure you get the point um but the first thing I would say to not do when you're losing weight is starve yourself. And you might be like, uh, yeah, no da, dude. Obviously, we know not to starve ourselves. That's a stupid thing. No, not true. When you're like, I was 250 pounds. And when you're 250 pounds, um, you will do anything to lose that weight. And that's the first thing that came to my mind is like, oh, okay, just don't eat. Seriously, that sounds so stupid now. But when like 10 years ago, when I lost the weight, the first thing that came up in my head was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to eat anything. Don't fall into that trap of like constantly thinking like eating something will make you fat. That's not true. Okay. Eating too much of something will make you fat. All right. So like what I used to do when I was losing weight was like my mom would be like, um, you know, Hey, I made some chicken and rice. I'd be like, no, 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 please, please. All right. I already ate. I'm not eating that. She's like, why? I was like, nope, nope. And it's like I was under eating and you shouldn't do that. You should be at a caloric deficit in a healthy way. Maybe bring your calorie intake down by 100 every like two weeks and you slowly just lose more and more weight. But um, when you are when you go from eating a lot of junk food to eating like 1,000 calories a day like I did um, and you gotta, you get scared of food, it's unhealthy. You should, not, you should never starve yourself. You should never prevent yourself from eating food. You should never um, – uh, because you're going to end up getting an eating disorder. And what, what's going to happen is you're going to lose all that weight. And that's fine. You're going to end up losing a lot of weight. And it's going to work. It worked for me. I lost like 30 pounds before I realized I shouldn't do this. But then you're going to relapse. Because you're going to actually feel think that you look so good right now that I could eat whatever I want. So then you're going to start eating whatever you want. And you're going to go back. You should keep yourself at a, at a caloric intake where when you do get skinny, you felt like you never really were on a diet anyway. That's the first thing. The second thing, running. Running is extremely healthy for your cardiovascular system. But what a lot of people don't understand is that lifting weights is way more beneficial. Uh, I wish I knew this. Um, I When I lost 100 pounds, I was running a lot, okay? And what happened was when I went, I went from 250 to 150. Now I'm 175, 180, something like that. No, I'm like 178. And I hover around 175. Um, I've been hovering around there for like five years, okay? I lost weight 10 years ago. What I did was it took me one year and I just ran every day. So I starved myself and then I ran every day, like five miles. In one year, I lost 100 pounds, but I got so skinny and and so depleted of any any actual muscle that it was it looked terrible. I really looked like I had no shape. It looked like I was just a stick. And the thing is, like, I could have lost that fat and built muscle and, and had just as better of a cardiovascular system if I just lifted instead of running that five miles. Five miles took me about an hour. I could have lifted in that hour and made way more progress than I did running. Then I would have been like 150, 160, just like I was, but instead of being 150 of just skin and bone, I would have been 150 of lean muscle. Um, So that's the second thing. Uh, Don't run, lift weights. Seriously, do not run, lift weights. I'm not kidding. Um, Number three uh, stop being influenced by a lot of people. Stop watching the videos. Stop watching YouTube. Stop thinking you're going to look like a Greek God. Stop. Just stop. Work with what you got. Look at your body, look in the mirror and say, okay, I just want to look like this. Look at the bare minimum and stop trying to go from being 300 pounds to 150 pounds looking like Chris Hemsworth. And cause I'm just going by personal experience. When I was younger, I was looking in the mirror and I was like, man, I want to look like Zac Efron. Okay, I want want to look exactly like Zac Efron. And it's like you can't be 250 pounds and think to yourself, I want to look like Zac Efron in a month. Then next month, I didn't I obviously didn't look like Zac Efron. um, And I got upset because I was like, oh, man, why don't I look like him yet? I want to look like him. You can't set those expectations. You just have to work with what you got. I'm me. I just want to go down to this number. See how it goes. You can't be setting these insanely high expectations because it's going to come and bite you back. All right. Those are the three tips that I got to say. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.